the day has come to announce it. We've got camshafts for the 2GR FE V6. Let's get into that. Yeah, we're finally tackling the V6. So I've been saying for a while that as soon as I'm done with the two AR cams that we will be tackling the two GR cams because I know there's been a lot of interest for that. Um, the two AR cams are not shipping quite yet, but I'm done with everything that I need to do other than the final quality control step as soon as they get here before shipping them out. So I can start working on this. And interestingly, about three days before I made the announcement, these things showed up online. This is from Kelford. And um, even more interestingly, uh, here's, the, here's the specs that they offer. So they've got four different grinds and that, that biggest grind, the 263C, which is what I ordered because, you know, well, go big. Um, these are about as close as you can get to what I was planning to do, and, which is what I'm running on the 2AR right now, which is, gave me all kinds of great power without ever actually talking to them. It's, it's kind of uncanny, honestly. And then the lower one, I hadn't even announced this one, but if we go here, this, this is a prototype cam that I got done for the 2AR. It was unannounced and, well, you probably can't read it from there, but this <laughs> is called my 218 cam. And if you look back at that, uh, that EZP profile, yeah. So um, apparently we were thinking along the same lines. Uh, that means, means a couple things, right? It means that, well, there's something on market that fits kind of what I wanted. So I went ahead and I ordered these and I have measured these in ways that would bore almost every one of you guys. But needless to say, I feel really happy with the quality of these to the point where I do have them for sale. There is a link down in the description, but I am going to go further. Um, what we get in the MR2 swap applications, we get this gyno chart right here, a little over 300 wheel horsepower to the ground. And that's because we've got these things flowing a whole lot more. And that's with a completely unmodified engine. So if we were to get a dyno chart from these Kelford cams in a stock application, that really wouldn't apply to what we're doing with this. So let's, uh, let's get a proper dyno chart on it. And at the same time, I am going to tune this with the Haltech ECU. And the tune that I come up with will be freely available to my customers, whether you buy the cams or the, the uh, ECU from me, the, uh, the tune will be available. So let's take a closer look at the cams and see what you think. So this right here, the big one here is the Kelford and this is the factory cam. So hopefully that is clear to you. There is a massive, massive difference between these camshafts. Um, these are about 280 degrees or so. I, the specs show up here on screen, but I don't actually see them. So the next video on the 2GR will be me taking one of these apart and installing those camshafts, checking for all the clearances and everything. Uh, one thing that's already become obvious, the base circle on the Kelford cams is slightly smaller than the factory base circle, even though they are not regrinds. I'm not 100% sure why they did that, but I do have plenty of shims on hand and we'll figure out exactly what it needs in order to run them properly. And uh, just kind of overall how to install the cams in this. Unfortunately, the 2GR is a lot more annoying to install cams in than the 2AR. On the 2AR, you pop the, uh, the valve cover, you pop the timing cover, and that's it. You've got access to all the cams. With the 2GR, well, <laughs> let's see, you've got the alternator holding the timing cover onto the... Um, cam carrier so you got to pull the alternator off then you got to pull part of the coolant system off then before you can pull the timing cover off you got to pull the lower oil pan off because it's hiding bolts for the mid oil pan and the mid oil pan is hiding bolts for the timing cover and then from there you remove the valve covers and then you can remove the timing cover oh it <laughs> and on top of that the 2AR can just have its intake and exhaust sitting there but of course the 2GR has the intake in the way too, so you gotta take that off too. 
Um, essentially, you have to completely disassemble this motor in order to change the cams, which is really frustrating. I, I, Toyota didn't have to make the decisions the way they did, um, but here we are. So it's definitely going to be able to use an instructional video, both for the order to do things, as well as things like what kind of shims does it need and whatnot. And of course, all of those parts I'll be happy to provide for those that actually want to follow along. So yeah, we'll see you guys soon. Have a good one.